Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne and in this video I want to share with you my opinions and a review on earrings from Palen. So I already have quite a few videos on some of the bags that I've purchased from the brand before but I'm also a huge fan of a lot of their jewelry pieces. I think they're just so nice and intricate and unique and true to the brand and that's something that I really appreciate. And in my opinion also price-wise they're really not too bad if you're looking for um, in comparison I should say to other I know like luxury brand but really like costume jewelry which is vastly more expensive. Um, one thing to note is that I actually didn't purchase this directly off of Plan. I had um, this exact set of earrings on my wish list for quite some time and I was actually planning to purchase this from the website during their holiday season because they usually have free shipping but then I stumbled across them on Poshmark and everything checked out so I went ahead and purchased them and I got a pretty good deal I would say. So keeping that in mind I can't really comment in terms of my purchasing experience for jewelry from Palen because this is secondhand, but I thought this would be helpful anyways. I haven't seen too many videos, especially like more of a long format review on jewelry pieces from Palen. So I hope this is helpful if you were interested in purchasing something. So probably by the title of the video, you know that I did purchase the Aeol uh, stud earrings from Palen. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that, um, but it did appear that it came with all of its original packaging just based off of like short clips of people unboxing other jewelry pieces and earring sets from Palen. So I'm just going to share with you what I got so you can kind of get a good idea. So starting off with, I don't know, maybe the shipping box. I don't know if this actually came in another box or if this was the shipping box, but it does actually come with the correct barcode and everything from Palen with the earring um, name and everything on the bottom here. But it is one of these kind of pull up lids and you can see on the underside it does say Palen there. And here is the other packaging for the earrings. So this actually comes out as you can see. So this whole thing comes out. Uh, one thing that I really wish was that this little band right here, I really wish that this was not actually attached to this back cardboard, but unfortunately it is, and I don't want to even risk kind of like ripping that off or anything. It's a really nice setup, I would say, in terms of its packaging, um, and it's good because it secures this to this perfectly fitting cardboard backing, so it's not going to move around. But I think it would actually be nice to have this band directly on the uh, jewelry case, if you call that. So this easily slides out of it though. And then this is the earring box that it comes in. On the back it has the barcode and it just has some other details there. This is very similar in look and coloring and everything to their other packaging. Um, and it does actually have the logo here on the front there. A very, again, unique sort of um, earring <laughs> box. It's quite bulky for what it is, but I think it's just really nice and elegant. It's quite nice, so it does take up a lot of space, but you know, it's it's quite nice visually in my opinion. Uh, if you just kind of clamp in like that, it easily comes off the lid from the bottom and it comes with a little carrying bag or an earring dust bag. What do you call these? Jewelry, jewelry bag. <laughs> So this is really like their um, dust bags as well for their bags. Um, it's kind of a nice kind of canvasy material on the outside and it just has plan there as you can see. Flips open and it's very soft just like their dust bags, um, their newest dust bags. Uh, so it's very soft and this actually has kind of like three different compartments in this pouch. Uh, so in the back it has the tag actually so as you can see there. That's the name of the earrings that I purchased and it has the exact sort of um, tag as their bags as well. So it has a little bit of details in terms of maintenance and composition of the earrings um, as well as uh, information. So the jewelry box is made out of 100% recycled paper pulp which is nice um, and yeah so this looks exactly like the tags um, for their bags as well. And then aside from that, so that kind of is the back compartment. Uh, and then it has two other individual compartments. So I have one earring in each uh, piece. So I will now take them out. And I'm going to do some close-up shots as well. Ooh, 
the light is coming in now, but I'm going to do some close-up shots as well so you can see the details because I think it's really well done in my opinion. But here's just one of the earring sets. I don't know if you can see. There you go. So this is what the earring looks like. Again, I'll try to do some other close-up shots so you can really see. But everything was really nicely packaged. I think originally how it came in as well. So I was really happy with my purchase. Like I mentioned, actually, in terms of the pricing for their jewelry pieces online, I would honestly say they're quite nicely priced. Um, I think in general, they're worth the money, um, especially if you're into that sort of uh, jewelry. Um, on top of it, in terms of its material, it is says it's it does say it's made out of brass and it's gilded in 24 karat gold. So that's quite nice in comparison to, I'd say, a lot of like even more expensive, like vastly more expensive luxury brands who have, I would call them like costume jewelry. And it's literally just metal. And I, th I would say like an unpopular opinion, but I don't particularly want to wear just a giant logo for earrings, for instance. That's just not my personal preference. But for me, like all the different Palen pieces are really, I would say the design is true to the brand and I really like them. And it doesn't say like Palen just like on a, on a plate or something and I have it on my ear. So I just really like the jewelry pieces for what they are. Um, and I am happy that it is gilded in 24 karat gold. Um, my ears are quite sensitive to even like sterling silver. So I really tend to wear gold jewelry, white gold, um, rose gold, those sorts of things, or titanium. So basically non-metal and not sterling silver either. So like I mentioned, it being on my wish list for quite some time, um, I want to say I don't think that they do price increases on their jewelry all the time. I know they usually do an annual increase for their bags and they actually did a quite substantial increase in their bags earlier this year in January. But these particular earrings had been on my radar for quite some time and I remember them being 130 euros and even right now they are still 130 euros. So I'm just gonna, I have some notes here, but um, so basically that converts to about $195 Canadian, but really after like tax and duties, if I were to purchase them right now, I would say it probably would land myself closer to about $250. And so if you are a fan, as I mentioned, of their actual jewelry, I would say it's really nice. In my particular case, but because I did purchase it secondhand, I got it off of Poshmark. After shipping and tax, it came out to about $147 Canadian. So I saved nearly $100, so I was super happy with that uh, savings. But I would say I would honestly not mind paying the full price anyways if I were to have purchased it uh, directly from Palen. In terms of the quality, I was really happy with them. I wore them and I didn't have any issues uh, personally with them uh, in my ears. And at the same time, uh, because I've only worn them a couple times since I purchased them, I'd hope that they <laughs> wouldn't have any issues and they haven't. So I there hasn't been any loosening of the backings or anything like that. So really happy with the quality. But yeah, I'm gonna do some close-up shots of these jewelry pieces as well as on my ears so you can kind of get a better idea of all the different details of it. Um, I think it was really nicely done. Um, and again, the presentation as usual that I find at least is really nice from Palen. And yeah, I was really happy uh, with this purchase. Right, so here are the close-up shots that I want to show you of the earrings. I think they are really nicely made, so as you can kind of see, this is what it looks like up close, it has all those details. And what's really nice, as you can see on the backing, there is the Palen logo, and then on the other side as well, it also has Palen right there engraved. Um, they're really nice thick backings and I haven't had any issues with it loosening or anything like that um, and that's what it looks like. But yeah, that is my quick review of the Aeol <laughs> earrings from Palen. I hope this video was really helpful. If you have any questions though, definitely leave those in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. But aside from that, as always, thank you so much for watching my video as well as those that subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.